Week six saw three upsets. Week seven saw three game-winning kicks. Hey, how are you? Jason Horowitz with the other professional grade players presented by GMC. No reason for you to have to sort out the big players and numbers. That's what we're here for. And remember, you have to win the football game to make GMC's grade. So, unfortunately for Joey Harrington and his Miami Dolphin record, 62 pass attempts, recording 414 yards, he doesn't make it. Also meaning, neither does Heinz Ward. Three touchdown receptions, but they lost. So, the guy he faced, he does make it. Michael Vick, a career-high four touchdown passes. Three of them to tight end LG Crumpler. More on him in a sec. But that running quarterback turned in a power performance through the air. He's been struggling this year, averaging just 135 a game through the air. But on Sunday, nearly 100 more than that. Meanwhile, 342-yard, four-touchdown day for Peyton Manning. Pretty ho-hum, no big deal. You've come to expect it. But still, three of them in the third quarter, sparking the Colts to become the ninth team in league history to start 6-0 in back-to-back -back years. Manning now 256 career touchdown passes, 10th all-time, just his ninth year in the league. Chester Taylor, his fifth year in the league, this season with the Vikings getting his first chance as a starter, and he excelled on Sunday, 169 yards in the win over Seattle, including a 95-yard touchdown run, putting him in the same sentence as Bo Jackson. Taylor's run passes Jackson's 91-yarder as the longest the Seahawks have ever allowed. Week 7 was one for the tight ends. We mentioned LG Crumpler, three touchdowns and 117 yards on six catches. Remember, he is Michael Vick's favorite target. And Tony Gonzalez, he'll be a Hall of Famer one day, had a Hall of Fame type day in Kansas City's upset over San Diego. Also six catches, but 138 yards. He averaged over 23 per catch. And I said there were three game-winning kicks. They included Gonzalez's teammate Lawrence Tynes making a 53-yarder, making up for a missed extra point earlier in the game. And how about Tampa Bay's Matt Bryant, 3-for-3, three three, including the second-longest field goal in NFL history, a 62-yarder as time expired to push the Bucks past the Eagles for their second straight win. So there you have GMC's professional-grade players. One defensive guy to mention, Tampa Bay's Rondé Barber, two picks, both returned for touchdowns. He and Matt Bryant, all of the Buccaneers' points in the win. That'll do it for the accolades following Week 7. Congratulations to this week's professional grade players presented by GMC. For all your NFL news and notes, be sure to stay with CBS Sportsline. I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.